Hello internet, welcome to the full post bed. I'm having one of those days where I think oh, I don't fit in anywhere. No, there's nowhere. Because there's really strange things going on in England at the moment. So we've got this king. <laughs> I mean, I, I struggle to say it. It's a four-letter word that doesn't fall well from my tongue. King. I mean, just the implications of it. Um, it's far too male for a start. It's loaded with privilege and whiteness <laughs> because he's an English king, which somehow just makes it even more ridiculous. Um, so I, I just, you know, we're, our nurses are on strike and our national health is falling apart. And then we've got this ridiculous man, a very old man, and there's nothing wrong with being old. I'm old as well. I don't have a problem with old, but I do have a problem with old, out of touch, privileged, loaded, and the national health falling apart and lots of nurses on strike because, you know, nobody can feed their bloody families. I mean, the whole thing's just ridiculous. So I'll be doing a prayer. I was only going to do prayers on Sundays, but I, I think I need to do them more often. I think I need to do passionate prayers when I feel people need to be directed. And the world of the internet, the result of the internet is that people are turning into mindless, moronic sheep who just follow media trends. And this morning I see that he's being crowned on Saturday and there's going to be a thing, <laughs> a pledge of allegiance that members of the public, the watching public, can recite. I mean, what the F is that about? Why would anybody pledge allegiance to an old white man who has more money than any single human being will need, owns half the country, you know, the property, and has been the head of a terrible, terrible um, state who enslaved people from all over the world and whose name is really... Um, caked in blood I mean I just don't understand it it's freaking me out today so I'm compelled to do a comic strip for if and uh, a prayer really to vent <laughs> because because you know I, I'm because I live alone I can't see if anybody else is as upset as I am about it because all we've got over the, on the TV is support and the media you know rubbing their hands together because they're going to they're going to televise it and people will be glued to their sets like, you know, um, as if they've lost their minds, as if they're entranced. And there's a crown, there's a 3D crown, a, a, an avatar thing, you know, you can go in and virtual, look at it, look at it virtually. Why would you do that? Oh, I can't believe it. It's terribly depressing. And you think back to, you know, the 70s and the punk, you know, God Save the Queen. I mean, I miss the Queen a lot. I don't think the Queen had nearly such a bad effect on me as the King is having. Um, and I guess it's because it keeps being thrown down my throat, you know, on the TV and stuff. It's awful. It's actually ghastly, ghastly. So, um... I don't know what to, you know, what any of us can do about it. What, what, where do people, activists go? Now that I'm an activist, you see, because the prayers and the the comic strip are a new phase of of activism for me. They're bullshit and opinionated, and I I do feel that I haven't been bullshit and opinionated for about seven or eight years. I I miss the bullshit opinionated side of me. And it's coming back now. It's coming back because, you know, because somebody needs to speak out. And I, I'm not sure where other people are speaking out. I can't find them. I'm obviously watching the wrong TV programmes. The watch, I'm watching the the, the wrong t uh, news bulletins. And, you know, where where do people go to, to find the the support for rebellion? I don't understand it anymore. And that's, that must be because I'm sort of old and out of touch. So I might go and try and find some things today to pledge allegiance to. 
some alternative activists, you know, wh- I mean, where where do they hang out? They don't hang out here. I mean, the, the problem here is I, I live in a, a, you know, a town that's built on the Royal Navy and the, the key is in the, the title, Royal. And I live in Royal Clarence Marina. It's all linked, you know, it says what it is on the tin, doesn't it? Gosh, I might have to move. Um, so what else? I'm, bu- I'm building the bra this week, the final bra for the reflux bra, bra range. And I'm, I've gone back to sort of organic materials. So I'm doing the, um, this version in completely organic materials. And I've got a, another secret ingredient to add to it. Um, I, on my YouTube, I've been trying to build it all weekend. It's, it's a bore actually. It's very, you end up doing the same thing as watching mainstream TV. You, you're seeing what most people like because you're looking at your, you know, um, your stats and you're thinking, right, they want that. That's what they want. That's how I'm going to get ad revenue. I think I need to rethink that. I don't think I should be going for ad revenue on on my YouTube either. I mean, I've already given up of it, on it on my podcasts. And if you do that on your YouTube, you have to, by default, you know, nobody's going to look at your stuff unless you're um, rebelling against something, or rebelling against what most people want to hear. You see what I mean? Um, and the way to do that, to, the way to get most ad revenue is to create utter rubbish. It really is. Total drivel. And last night I was, I had a film removed. Can you believe that? I had a film removed from my um, TikTok, which I can't bear. That's bloody grim TikTok is. Um, again, the the stuff that goes, anything with skin in it, anything with a bit of human female flesh uh, that's how you get hits I mean the most bizarre thing so because I've been tattooing my knees it's been you know those those tattooing videos are really popular um but I don't want to tattoo every day I like to do one a week so you know that that's a design flaw anyway the ta- the um film that was banned removed within seconds they removed it was me filming a train journey from Clapham Junction to Victoria Station. Can you believe that? And they said it um, it broke community guidelines. <laughs> well, I watched it and I thought, well, what's, what could possibly be wrong with that? And they don't tell you. I, so I appealed twice, but it still, it still breaches community guidelines. No idea why. Um, and I put it with a song that I'd done. Uh, I can't remember what the song was called now. Um, and it, I put hashtag dumped in the ti- in the, you know, in the hashtags you put hashtags for TikTok. And I thought, I wonder if that's why. I have no idea. I, honestly, I have no idea. But the song is about a breakup. So perhaps you're not allowed to do that. I've got a feeling it's to, more to do with my copyright because also I had my podcast removed because I because of music, but I own the copyright to all my music. Of course I do, it's my bloody music. But they've removed it. And I th- I think what's happening with these big tech people, they're getting charged um, royalties for playing my music and they don't like it. So they're they're just removing everything rather than having a discussion with me because I own that music. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, so the answer here is not to monetize anything if I'm going to play my music. Don't monetize it. Um, the royalties are being collected for me anyway in, through my PRS, through you know my royalty um, publishing uh, organisations. So... Um, so I you know, re- redressing all of that and thinking, right, oh, God, right, ad, ad revenue is not the way to go. I, but I, what it means is I can finally speak my mind and I can say, I hate the fucking king. I hate fucking royalty. It's all a load of shite. Um, and I can swear as much as I like because I do love a good swear when I'm feeling opinionated. I think we all do, don't we? And also, you know, it, 
it means that I can, rather than focus on uh, trying to create content, content, banal content that mo- more people will like, and I'll have more hits. I feel like a bit of a whore this weekend because all I've done is create stuff in the hope of getting hits. I'm sick of it. I I don't think that's the way forward, guys. I don't think, uh, you know, developing yourself as a good, all-rounded person with ideals and and morals is, is good for any of us. Oh, and by the way, my prayer, which was a prayer for men to try and curb the activity in their disgusting loins um i got dislikes on my youtube i thought oh i've never had those before what does that mean and i i it i'm not sure it tells you how many people have disliked it but it tells you the the proportion of um the percentage do you see so it had 66 percent likes i normally get 100 percent. i thought oh that's really interesting what does that mean exactly well, it means that some people actually press the dislike button. <laughs> so they can't troll me because I've disabled comments. So I'm not interested in what they think. I'm not really interested in what anybody else thinks. I'm interested in what I think. And I'm interested in, in, in my core values, my moral fibre. I don't care what some... I suspect it was men. What some, you know, nobody troll type person on the internet thinks because I tell them that they're disgusting and they objectify women. Why would I care about that? Um, so I thought, well, you you don't cause... You, you don't create opinions unless you express opinions. Do you see? And... But you... But advertisers prefer you not to express opinions, I think. Unless they're opinions that agree with most people, that's what that's what the TV stations do, isn't it? That's what the news does. The news gives the it feeds the people what it wants to hear. Um, I don't know how. Who's that dude? The one that was arrested. Um, I can't think what his name is now. I'm glad I can't think what his name is. Um, the one who was had all the you know do, terrible things he was saying about women. Terrible. I mean. The thing is, by expressing these sort of alternative opinions, um, he built up a following of notoriety. So I think you can go to one of two ways, I guess, can't you? You can be notoriously offensive or go with the flow and be really twee and have loads of followers because you're just oh so perfect and you're giving people, the the more people, what they want to hear. Well, the thing is, that dude was giving men, you know, what they wanted to hear, wasn't he? He wasn't giving women what he wanted to hear. And now I'm probably giving women what they want to hear. Well, I'm not, actually, because a lot of women, you know, they they, they don't know what they want to hear because they haven't had the opportunity for so many bloody decades, thousands of bloody years to to have thoughts that are, are clearly based on you know contempt con, con, well gender 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 advantageous ideas because women don't think like that do we we don't think well we want something that benefits us and we don't care what men think we always think oh poor men poor little men we can't be nasty to them yes well anyway that's enough opinionated podcasting for today um so bras and music it's all about bras and music and i'm uh uploading thousands of music clips to my pond five um all week so um pop along there it's quite exciting actually i, I finally got a check from them which was rather good i'm experiencing royalty checks they're very nice when they finally come through rather than advertising revenue checks which are rubbish and puny very very puny and i'm not interested in them <laughs> 